Hey guys, John Luxley here. Starting a blind playthrough of Franbo. I think that's how you say it. Um, so I don't really know anything about the game. I know it's psychological horror, and a while back it was recommended for me on Steam. And it was discounted, so I picked it up. What I do know about the game is just what I've read on the store page. Just the, you know, tagline or whatever, basically. I think, I assume her name is Fran, and her eyes follow the cursor. Uh, basically, she finds or sees her parents killed, escapes into the forest with her cat right here, and then uh, wakes up in a mental inst institution, and then uh, escapes the mental institution to look for her cat and go live with her aunt, I think. I'm not entirely sure. Let's uh, let's go ahead and begin. This game uses an autosave feature. Okay, cool. Everything's fine. It feels like heaven. See my parents. They look happy. They have a present for me. I wonder. It's a cat, so sweet and pretty. Dark as the deepest night. It's Mr. Midnight. My best friend. My only friend. That's already kind of dark. We are having dinner, and I see Aunt Grace, too. I really like her a lot. It's Friday, my parents are going out. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. We are having so much fun. It's Monday night, I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. But something feels real bad. Oh. Strange creature outside my window. I don't like it, it scares me. Suddenly I hear something. It's mom, screaming. Okay, this is pretty dark. I wanna know what's wrong. Bright light shines from my parents' room. I go closer. And closer. Oh, don't be a jump scare, please. Mom? Dad? Please don't. Oh. Mommy? Daddy? Oh, the house is covered in blood. Runs into the forest, looks like she trips. Cat is with her. Cat sees something. He's angry, afraid. Oh, a person, people. Cloaked people. Bran. Please follow my voice. On the count of three, you will wake up. One. Two. Three. Bran, how do you feel? Oh, oh, we get choices. What should we say? Well... I guess the question is, do we roleplay? Uh, let's just... 
I I don't know. Let's go with A. I'm fine, I guess. Just sad to see the same things. Sadness is something everybody has within. Say I want to go home. I want to go home. You can't go home, Fran. You have to get well. I need my cat or I'm not crazy. Well, let's say she's not crazy. But I'm not crazy at all. Let me out. You know we cannot do that. Okay, so do I click on this or do I just click in general? Click in general, I guess. But now I have something for you. Oh, this is probably not going to be good. Here, take these pills. What is it? See the desk? There's a little package for you. It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. Tutorial mode, engage. But that's okay. We're still learning about the game, so it... Uh, oh. It's no... I assume this is the package. No prompts, though. It looks like, it looks like you just have to... Oh, wait. Okay, so the door changes to... The pointer changes to your hand, but the... Ah. This was my mother's purse. Open it, there's something inside. Lost and found. Use, combine, or examine. Do I just click on it? And I assume this, maybe the skull does something? No? Dearest Fran, here's the purse you like so much. I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you, I remembered that you like to examine objects and combine them with other things. That's a weird thing to remember, but okay. So I hope you'll always keep this purse and give it and give it and all the other things you find a good use. Never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love, Aunt Grace. Okay. She's worried about you. Grace, well, another reason to let me go. Well, don't worry about her. She's fine. Can I leave now? Can I go to my room now? Yes, you can leave, but before you do, it's time for your new medicine. What medicine? It's called Duotine, and it will make you feel very relaxed. Relaxed. Nurse, we're ready. Anything new today, Dr. Dearn? Nothing actually. Same visions as before. Same visions. As in... Like, maybe what she saw with her parents getting killed was not real? It's... So I like the unreliable narrator um, genre, I guess. Because it makes you really think about what's going on, and, you know, everything has a potential sim you know, symbolic representation or symbolism or whatever you want to say. So we'll, uh, I mean, who knows? Maybe she did see her mom and dad get killed and go crazy or, or not. I guess we'll find out. But to be fair, if she's unreliable, we can't even trust this because all this could be in her head too. Oh, I see. Here, Fran, take your medicine. Do it. We don't have all day, Fran. Take the pills. Now. I don't want to. Interesting. Are you just gonna... We don't have all day. Take the pills now. Well... I guess I have to. There you go. You just eat them just like that? I don't feel good. Whoa. Eek. 
Oh no, take her back to her room. Yeah, that was kind of messed up. Right, so... Wow, I don't know how to process that. Um, so I guess the question... Well, there's two questions I have. One is, are they testing medications on her? You know, like, are these new pills to see what effect they have on people? Or is that actually a medicine that relaxes people and she just had a bad reaction or something like that? Also, he's stepping on her legs. But, uh... We'll ignore that. Because they're paper dolls, basically. Okay, oh no, take her back to her room. And nurse, don't let her take this ever again. I have a feeling that means we're gonna have to take it or want to take it. I don't I don't know. That's pretty messed up. Beware, friend Bo. Or friend Bao. If you leave the house of madness. I will hunt you down. Catch you. And bring you back to insanity. Bran, wake up. The medicine will help you escape. I'll be waiting for you in the forest. I love you. Chapter 1, My Sober Day. Okay, so we have a cross above the bed. Terrifying picture of a clown on the wall. I assume we have to click to do something. I don't know what this is. Okay, I guess we'll, uh, we'll click. Yep, we're awake. I'm still here. Hideous place. I have to get out of here. Alright, so we got... I don't know what the two eyeballs are. We'll find out in a second, I suppose. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's just find out now. Oh. Oh, is that like... Oh, I see. So it's different rooms. Right. Okay. Oh, so this is one big room. That makes sense. Well, we're in a, a mental ward, so whatever. Okay, what is this? Friend Bao Dagenhart, or Friend Bo, age 10, gender female. History. The patient was found near the Oswald Asylum, showing, showing signs of psychosis. The Bo Dagenhart family tragedy. Details omitted. Okay, so we have to assume that this is real, and we have to assume that the family was actually killed. Treatment, Dr. Mark, oh, hang on. Dr. Marcel Dearn has tried different medications and all have been canceled because of side effects. Documented, July 25th, 1944. Interesting, so before, kind of before World War II, you know, Psycho what? I'm not that for sure. Side effects. Oh, wait, do I... Oh, dear. I really wonder who brought me here. Psycho what? Oh, it's just you click anywhere. Side effects. Effects affecting one side of me, maybe? Hmm, okay. Uh, that's, uh... Right. I will get your nose. I will get it. What? Are you a happy clown? Can you make me laugh? I'm having a hard time laughing again. Okay, so I guess clicking on things is like three, three, uh, you know, little pieces each. 
Uh, three little flavor text things each. Locked. Okay, so the door, the drawer is locked. Hopefully this won't help fall on my head while I'm sleeping. Okay. Red and tiny, you are hiding from me. Pills, okay. I hate the monster. Yeah, it's a, it's a cow's head with cow's skull. I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He hides because he's afraid. He told me that the medicine would show me where he is. Oh dear, I miss you so much. I will find you, Mr. Midnight, I promise. Don't be afraid, my dear kitty. Everything will be just fine. Um... Right? I could still walk around it and see what's on the other side. I don't want to. I just woke up. Sweet, sweet melody. One more time, la la la. Does the same as before, huh? Okay. Use combine examine. Uh, okay, and then you just click away. Oh, holy moly, something fell. Well, well I guess I broke the curtains. Now I can look outside. Let's see if we can take that. A handy hook. I'll save it to play pirate later. A golden hook that fell from the curtains. And right clicking doesn't do anything. So let's look outside. Yeah, it looks like a prison, doesn't it? Well, I guess that's how uh, insane asylums were. Tower defense, we have for you a crazy person called Fran. Or is it Defense Tower? Guess that is my way out. I don't think my head would fit through the window. Okay. Alright. Two ways. Left and right. Let's go left first. Man, we can click on everything. My legs are just fine. I'm not disabled. Okay. Okay, this one's boarded up. Uh, not so easy to see through this. Is that the playground? Maybe somebody already tried jumping through this window. Yep, okay, what about you? Uh, I can't see through this window. Empty bottle, empty glasses, nothing useful. Towels? I don't need towels. I don't think I need any of this. Okay. Okay, so there's the playground. Playground, good night, trees and moon. Pretty sure the playground isn't a good escape route. Um, I like the bunny swing thingy, it makes me dizzy. Okay. Take a look at this table. Oh, I wanna know what she's writing, I'm curious. I guess the nurse would never let me touch anything. I know the nurses always keep the medicine, but where? Is that a pack of cigarettes on her desk? Well, I guess everyone smoked back then. Oh, Fran, you're awake. Good. How long was I asleep? Three days. Wow. Okay. Was it the medicine that made me sleepy? Yes, it was the medicine. That's why you're not taking it anymore. So if something happened or I did something... What happens if I click on Fran in the middle? Nothing, but she blinks. Um, let's try something happened. Oh, I forgot, something happened. See, you are nothing but trouble. What is it? Oh, what happens if I tell her I broke the curtains? I was trying to look outside and I accidentally broke the curtains. Accidentally, I have to fix this, follow me. Oh, can we take the medicine now? I'm curious, yes, but the nurse is still inside this room. Aha! Uh -huh. She would just go crazy if I touch anything. Better go and talk to her. Hook her. Use the hook. I mean, yeah, I know. Something is missing. Have you seen the hook that holds the curtains up? Mmm. Seen nothing. 
No, miss, I haven't seen anything. Well, I have to go and find something to fix this, you little girl. Oh, friend's happy. Okay, she's out of the room. Let's check the desk. Okay. Oh, band-aids. Is it weird that I thought they were cigarettes? Okay. Check the band-aids. I'll keep these patches to stop blood. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna get injured. Good to know. Ew. It's probably coffee. Just ew. Okay. Violent trauma can have a great impact on children, totally changing their normal lives. For, ex for example, children damaged by trauma can have mild to severe deficits in some abilities, such as trusting people near them, seeing the world as a safe place, making decisions, etc. Because of these effects, some traumas can lead to several symptoms of major mental illness. For example, not trusting other people or not feeling safe in this world. This can be interpreted as paranoia. Um, okay. Let me see. Traumas. Hmm. Trauma is a word that doctor loves to say. Right on. Hee <laughs> hee, that brain looks like a turtle. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay. What about the letter? Nursing visit report. Nurse name Gladys something. Hannah, maybe? Brandbo dagger height. Okay. Patient behavior description. The patient has been sleeping almost all the time. She only wakes up to drink water, but I don't think she remembers that. After drinking, she goes to sleep again. She hasn't been social for three days now. I assume that's now. Some kids have... Wow, her handwriting is atrocious. Uh, some kids have come around and asked about her and when she would come out and play. I don't know what this word says. Practice? No. It looks like duotris, but that's... Wait, was that the word or the, the pill? 8H something? I don't, I don't know. The nurse's handwriting is awful. Thank you. Thank you. I only understand three words. What words? Brand sleeping and duotine. duotine. Okay, that's it. So what is 8H? The nurse's handwriting is awful. 8H. Okay, drawer. Check. Ah, uh, medicine is, but it's locked. Oh, a handgun. Why would the nurse have this? She wants to kill us all. I'll leave it as it was. I really need to get out of this place. Okay. Okay, so I guess we can't take the handgun necessarily. Okay. All right, so we have the band-aids. Examine. Tiny patches to cure wounds. Got it. We don't want to use them just yet then. And the box says hide on it. My pills are inside. I know it. I have to crack the code. Let's try using it. Oh, I see. 8H. Uh, oh. Oh, okay. Hide is the code, but it corresponds to... So, let's see. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Okay, so it's, yeah, simple. I mean, I know it said it on the bottom of the letter, but I saw it 8 and H circled and... Okay, you know, whatever. So this is 4. And this is five. And this must be nine. Sweet. The pills. Kitty told me these would help me. So, you, okay, that's an, a different command now. You just take the pills and I guess the world changes maybe. Let's explore the rest of the room first. Now, I said it. It, it said it auto-saved, right? What happens if we hit escape? Return to menu? No. No. Okay. So we got the kid we can talk to. We have something under the bed. Oh, a secret box. Oh, although I noticed that is gone. That's interesting. So maybe it's... You know, maybe it's... um. These are basically not a blank inventory, but 
individual things you can find and pick up and they have their own reserve spot? Maybe? I don't know. Little box, it's open. Well, okay then. A key, aha. Certainly opened something, a tiny little key. Okay, we got a teddy bear. Somebody loves you. Hello again, Mr. Teddy. Okay. Little doll, I used to have a blue dress like yours. Can't play with you now, I'm on a very secret mission. Let's read this. Fillmore Bronstone, age eight, gender male. History, the patient came to Oswald Asylum with his mother, Rachel Bronstone. The boy has developed paranoid behavior. Paranoia not yet diagnosed. Treatment, daily treatment with Dr. Marshall Dearn. We have not achieved the patient's trust and he refuses to be questioned. Well, you know, they call people paranoia, but you're only paranoid if you're wrong about everybody out to get you or wrong about not able to trust the world. Poor Phil, I understand why you wouldn't trust them. Yeah. Yeah, really. Oh, wouldn't Mr. Horse, are you having a good time? Back and forth. The trip of our lives, yeehaw. Yeah, so, I mean, this is in the, the age of, you know, probably electroshock therapy and I'm trying to think what other, so I don't know my mental illness treatment historical facts, right? But I know electroshock was one of them. Um, there would be obviously different pills and stuff. Um, bloodletting, I believe. And, but see, I don't know how old these are. I, I mean, you know, I know they still do electro electroshock therapy today for certain things. Um, if I sit down, I'll eventually get up. So what's the point? Be seated or not to be seated? That is the question. Um... But I wonder about, like, what was it? You play uh, Alice Madness Returns, and you kind of see some of that stuff. Like tree panning, where they, uh, you know, they believed that mental illness was caused by demons, and so they drill holes in your head to let the demons out. Uh, I mean, we don't see any of that in here at the moment, but you never know. Okay, so let's talk to Phil. Hello, Phil. Oh, she did a little curtsy. That's nice. Hello. know a way out you do know the way out right there are many ways out everything's locked or thank you by let's go with everything's locked yes but you know that everything is locked indeed but the office is the key what do you mean the office what do you mean i saw the saw the doctor write a secret code a secret code to open the yellow door wait what he doesn't want me to tell you Ooh. Him. Oh, jeez. All doors are closed. You are a prisoner of my games. Nobody will help you escape. Leave me alone. I hate you. Wow. Okay. Who said leave me alone? I hate you. Exactly. Mommy, Daddy, I need you so much right now. No, I won't let that monster stop me. Okay, so she's talking to herself. The whole leave me alone, I hate you, probably. So, right, the secret code, I assume, is the... Maybe the pills, who knows. The yellow door, is this door yellow? Of course, it's locked. Still locked. If I were bigger, I could take it down. Okay, so let's try using the little key. Use tiny key with door. Key is too tiny. Okay. Uh, right. I could try the pills, that seems to be maybe the way. Oh, right, right, right. Right, 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 right. Okay, click, use, drawer. 
And there is something inside. What's inside? Oh, okay, you just take it. Here we go. Okay, so we have a... Looks like a photo. So probably the parents and Aunt Grace and Mr. Midnight. Oh, my dear family, I'll guard this with my life. I miss you so much, I really need you here with me. Well, they all look happy. And the parents are both wearing pins. That's kind of weird. Right? Like, why are they both wearing pins? I'll find my kitty and then go to you, Aunt Grace. I knew Aunt Grace will take good care of me and Mr. Midnight. I wish my parents were alive. Ouch. Okay, that, yeah. So, I don't know, some kind of cult thing, maybe? It's... I'm curious. Really curious now. Okay, so we open that. Oh, oh, right, right, right. We didn't check the... It's like a hairpin. My hair clip. I should give it a good use. Okay, let's try to use it. Use hair clip with... Fran's journal. No. Let's try using it on the door. It fits, but there are two holes. I need something else. Okay. Use golden hook with... Ah, the shape is not right. Okay, I... But there are two holes. I need something else. Combine hair clip with golden hook. Nope, I'm not sure what to do with this. Nope, of course. Understood. Hair clip, it should give it a good use. Okay. There are two holes. Let's talk to him again. Did you find the doctor's code yet? It's in the office. Um... Okay. I mean, so we're not in the office and we can't open the door yet. Hmm. Empty bottle, empty glasses, nothing useful. Can I take the handgun? Terrible, why would the nurse have this? She wants to kill us all. Okay. Right, okay, so we have the code for duotine. I think I have to use the pills. Well, okay. So it said autosave. I wonder if it autosaves, like, each chapter or just all the time or, or what the deal is. Towels. I don't need towels. Okay, let's try the pills. Watch your step. Wow, okay. Well. Okay. So how long does this last? I don't think I need any of this. Hello, Miss Nurse. You're a skeleton. Are you all right? Hello? Huh. Okay. There's a... Well, she she was knitting a scarf. Oh! This is weird. You can take the stuff that's in your vision. Okay. I mean... Well, then maybe it's... Small and sharpie. This might fit somewhere. Okay, so that's what we need for the door. We'll check out the dead rat. You got a little blood on your mouth. Are you okay? My mommy also had blood in her mouth. She looked sad. Yeah, that's, uh... That's kind of creepy. Get out, creepy creature. What are you, huh? Tell me. Kind of looks like it took uh, some joy or something. You like to see me sad? Okay, well, let's try... Okay. Yeah, so I'm kind of curious about the pills now. Like, do they reveal... Watch your step. Do they reveal... Like... Man, I don't know. 
Oh, it did say watch your step, right? It was not me. Oh, dude, look at that. Uh. Okay. So we got Fran's head right there and some... Is that my head? Give me my head back, please. Just go away, you weird creatures. They're all bleeding from the eyes, too. Okay, so we have a dead rabbit. Are you sleeping, sweet bunny? Bunny, wake up. Please, bunny, wake up. Sweet melody. One more time. The same as before. Okay. Uh, so the picture of the clown is gone as there's scratches. Where did the clown go? I hope he's not around here. Looks like he escaped from the painting. Okay. So the graffiti right here says, it was not me. And on it, it says, who, with some bloody handprints. So, right, that's the question, right? Who did it? I wish I could know the answer. I'll find out, I promise. Who did it? It was not me. So do they think... We might be able to go down there, too. Let's um check the drawings first, and then we'll go to the next room. Blood. All unhappy faces. Find him. Somebody's been playing with my notes. Okay. To happiness. Okay. So... Right. Look at this. Phil is playing with his uncle, and the uncle is mad. Mad. Oh, jeez. I don't want to know the relationship. Phil is crying. Oh, poor Phil. Do you see? You killed the bird. What? Your mommy is not happy. Uncle will die. Why are you looking at me like that? You terrify me. What is that black thing sitting next to you? He's telling you things. Can you hear it? Okay. And Phil is all messed up looking also. Okay, so it looks like some of the stuff is quote unquote normal. You can see. Can you see? Can you see? Let's talk to the deer. The deer with the missing eyeballs. Oh, jeez. Okay. Hello? Oh, no, your head. Try to put your head back on. Oh. Okay. I'm sorry, I can't help you, Mr. Deer. Well. Okay. Of course, it's locked. Let's try going down these stairs. I don't know if that's a good idea, but we're gonna do it. No, absolutely not. You can't tell her that. It's interesting how the only non-bloody area is the area around the desk. Like blood's been falling from the ceiling. And where did she go? Did she really go into this room or is she like hearing it? Also, the door, the stairs were underneath her bed. I don't know if that's important or not. Okay, so no, absolutely not. You can't tell her that. But she has to know. You can't keep me away from her. By the way, is this Grace? The reason is more than clear, Grace. No, it's not. I want to take her home now. You can't. Rand's mental condition is not appropriate yet. Okay. So Fran is back. The bed is there now. And there's a dead fox with blood coming from its eyes. Was that real? Oh dear, Aunt Grace. I wonder what she has to tell me. That doctor has no soul going home tonight. Oh no, Foxy Fox, don't cry. Use my hand as a tissue. That's a weird statement. Would you like a hug? Foxy, why are you so sad? Okay, so I assume that Pills jar is open now. I assume if we click it again, we uh, go back to the real world, so to speak. Oh, cool. So you can change back and forth. 
Of course, it's locked. All right, so let's try... Oh, wait, hang on, let's examine this. Small and Sharpie. Let's use this with the door, almost, but there's another hole. I'll need something else. Use... It fits, but there are two holes in... Oh, do I... Okay. Let's try... Combine knitting needle with hair clip. Oh, fantastic. My very own special key. Interesting. My very own handmade special key. Yes, to happiness. That's what the sign, or the blood on the door said. Okay. So we're out of this room. Check the window. Uh, there's a maze. There's a hedge maze in a mental asylum. That, yeah, okay. The maze, we never get to play there. Tonight the fog is pretty thick. I wish I could get lost in there. Okay. Uh, don't worry, Manny Cat. I will feed you very soon. Okay. Alright, I see you, Manny. Snuggle, snuggle, old lady on your chair. What? Oh, let me see. A red puppet and a serpent. Teddy and many other things. And your booty will be flat like your face? Snuggle, snuggle, old lady's rhythm. Snuggle, snuggle, old lady on your chair, and your booty will be flat like your face. Okay, got it. Let's finish checking the room real fast. Manny cat. Oh, real flowers, they smell so sweet. The drawer is empty. Manny, stop that. Okay, let's check the... Adelaida Fugents, gender seven, age, female. You know what I mean. History, the patient was a victim of sexual abuse by an unknown person which almost killed her. This event has created auditory hallucinations and thought disorder. Treatment, Dr. Mar Marcel Dearn has become close to the patient through drawings therapy. She's making progress. This is very sad, but at least she's recovering. Wish I could solve my problems. But I have to fight them and find out the truth. So, interesting, right? I wish I could solve my problems, but I have to fight them. I.e., fighting her problems is not the same as solving them. That's interesting. And another freaking clown. This is one of those mute clowns. I've seen, I've seen so many and they all look so sad. This one is very happy though. Good for him. His bed is very pink. Why is that a problem? Okay. So I guess the question is, do I take the pills? And the answer is, of course, yes. Uh, unfortunately, I think that's about right with the handprints on her and all that stuff. Handprints all over the bed and, of course, the clown. Where did the clown go? I hope he's not around here. Looks like he escaped from the painting. Tiny, tiny hands all over you, eating your soul. Yeah, yeah. Even the purest of things die in this place. And the... Okay, well, you should blame yourself. Be quiet. What? He takes away your innocent inner child and devours it. Nobody believes you, although the wounds are bleeding. Why do you look like a fabric doll? What have they done to you? Please, somebody tell me something. So is she a fabric doll because she's here or because her... Whoever, unknown person, you can see, can you see, can you see? Yeah, okay. So the clown from the painting has been murdered and stuffed in into the toy box. Yeah, maybe if I touch it, it'll jump and scare me a lot. Mm, all right, nothing happened. It must be dead. So she did touch it. I don't want to touch it. It's the clown from the painting. And you can't touch the chair anymore. 
Let's go out. Oh, that is freaky as shit. What was that? Interestingly, blah, 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 blah. Interestingly enough, the stairway down is closed and locked in this world. Daddy was not there. Mommy would not care. What? What does that mean? Okay, this is weird. In this one, the board, the uh, window is boarded up. Maze, we never get to play there. Tonight, the fog is pretty thick. She's saying the same stuff as before, though. Uh, you're my beloved friend, Bit Bit Berm. If you want to hug me, try to catch me. If you can't catch me, it's because you haven't found me. Okay, well, let's try going into the water closet. Uh, the king likes... Oh. Okay, so we're only looking in. It says the king likes drawings. The king is probably the doctor? I don't like this. Somebody wrote something. Interesting. Mm, okay. Okay, so let's uh let's Right, okay. Okay, so in the quote unquote real world it looks normal. The throne is empty. I didn't realize that anyone could see me pooping. Gross. Yeah. I can and will hold it. All right. Yeah, I mean, that, it kind of makes sense. Because, you know, crazy people doing crazy things. So let's go down. Uh, okay, never mind. Oh, there you are. You should be in the room. The door was closed. I'm not going to say that. I'm going to say you left it open. But you left it open. I'm sure it was not open. I know because I locked it. How did I get out then? How did I get out then? It was open. Hmm, don't try to trick me. Go inside your room and wait for the doctor. Alright, I have no time for this. I have to find my way out. Okay. So I assume she's back. No, she isn't. Okay. Oh. Okay, well, there's the doctor. Did you break out from your room? That's not nice, Fran. Uh, I could say I haven't eaten in days or my kitty told me to leave. I'm not going to say that because I don't want to be crazy. I haven't eaten it. So actually, that brings up a good point. Is this multiple endings? Let's try having eaten in days. But I'm hungry, sir. I haven't eaten in days. I won't listen to any of your excuses, young lady. Let me go eat something. Sir Doctor, please, just let me go and eat something. You have to learn how to listen to those in charge. Okay. Of course, sir. Lesson learnt. Just don't do it again, friend. Go and eat now, then get back to bed. Okay. Right. The king. The yellow door, that is my way out. That's right. That sign shows where things are in the hospital. Oh, I can click on stuff. The reception room, you always find a nurse in there. I could smile and bow and tell the nurse to open the gate. But then again, they'd really think I'm insane. Okay. What it doesn't show for the sign is how awful this place is. It should say, welcome to the most terrible place in the world. I have to open it, but how? Phil said that the doctor's office is the key. This gate is very locked. Okay, what about the painting? Sir Oswald Harrison, a bearded old man. Wonder why he built this place. Maybe he had a crazy child and wanted to get rid of it. That's a possibility. I'm gonna have to resist my temptation to click on the pills in every room. But, 
know what? I think I'm going to try stopping here for today. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep going. And then, uh, well, this episode will be like five hours long. So let's, uh, actually, let's see. What happens if I hit continue? Oh, cool. It, it basically leaves off, leaves off where we are. Right? Because I have all the stuff still. Although we lost the special key, so that's interesting. Okay, return to menu, yes. Alright guys, we're going to stop here for today. Um, as always, thanks for your time, thanks for your attention. Manny appreciates it too, because, you know, he likes to sit here and, and bother me while I play. And, uh, all that. Um, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed the episode. This game seems very interesting. And, uh, hopefully... You know, hopefully dark, because I do like psychological horror, and I'm, I'm curious to see where this is going. Um, but anyway, I hope to see you guys next time, and until then, take care, guys.